Hi, this is Roras, and uh, we're playing Subnautica. Uh, I just got the blueprints done for the CMOF. We have a radio message, I think. Yeah. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. So not to get our hopes up or anything, but that was another ship in this uh, solar system, which picked up our distress signal from the, the bigger ship. Hopefully, they come pick us up. Uh, that's what I what I want. But uh, yeah, like they said, it's gonna take them a week. To get uh, get here, and they're they're not even getting like a response from us because we can't because the ship's blown up. Um, but basically, they're gonna they're gonna try and scan for us on the long range scans, and uh, we'll see if they call us back at a later date. Uh, but first, I wanted to get a radiation suit going, so let's do that. Uh, and we're going to the stalker territory to get it because we need these creep vines to make uh, fiber mesh lead I have plenty of from our little trip down to Volcano Avenue uh, on the last episode uh, I just need the fiber mesh and now we got it so we're going back we're gonna make a radiation suit uh, and hopefully we won't die from radiation poisoning um, but we'll see uh, there we go and let's make fiber mesh and another one uh, personal equipment uh, we got two we need two lead and we do have that here I think yeah uh, there we go. Let's get our new suit going. Yeah. Awesome. So, in order for the radiation suit to fully work, we need to swap our rebreather for the radiation helmet, uh, which I'm going to. Uh, but I'm going to save the rebreather in here if I can fit it. I think I might, yeah, because we're going to need this uh, later as well, so we need both helmets, um, but at different parts of the map, so to speak. Uh, now that we've got that going, uh, we're, uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're looking for... Uh, parts of a uh, mobile vehicle bay so we can make uh, so we can build that uh, and once we have that we can build uh, our seamoth which is uh, a cute little one man submarine submarine uh, which we will use to explore even deeper into this hellhole of a planet leave me be please Got some salt. What the fuck was that? Oof. I I I'm telling you, like the sounds in this game. Oof, every time. So we probably should have brought our rebreather instead of uh, the radiation helmet right now, but uh, I guess it's fine. We just won't have uh, as much time exploring as I would have liked to. If you see a... Oh no. Damn sharks. Here we go. What's this? Oh, we have that. 
So scanning it further will just give us titanium. And that will just fill up our inventory space and I don't want that at all. So right now you can see like I'm a man, a man on a mission. I'm just looking for like specific things because I know I don't have that much oxygen. Oh, open the door. Come on, dude, just pull it. Oh shit, oh, we gotta, we gotta bail. We need oxygen badly, and we're so deep down. Oh my god, no. This I can say for sure is gonna be effed. Yep, yep, yep. We're blacking out. We're black. Or just made it like a split second if if that took like a split second longer we would have died 100 percent 100 percent but we didn't so let's um let's continue exploring oh yeah boy give me that charger nice and another one there we go what else is there anything else I don't see jack shit oh we need that laser cutter crap all right guess we'll we'll be back <gasps> a chair oh my god can I have a chair yes here it is thank god oh no we need a third one. Oh yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Totally worth it. Almost died, don't even care. Another, oh, command chair, hello. Call me Captain Kirk. Yeah. Just you wait, game. I'll get my own Enterprise ship thingy going. And I'll take over this galaxy. Or, as they say, explore. But uh, we both know what just happened in, in Star Trek. And not just happened, but, but happened. Like how it, how it ended. Going back, I think we need more parts for the mobile vehicle bay. So let's have a, an eye out for ship wreckage or just boxes, I guess. Oh, there's something in there. Yeah. If we get that, uh, then we can cut into those uh, other doors. Uh, that we couldn't get to and uh, within those doors there might be parts for the mobile vehicle bay but I'm not sure we'll just have to uh, wait and see so creepy so creepy I don't want to don't want to go through here uh, oh there it is god damn it Keep going, keep going. Just get get me out of the vines. Yeah, there you are. Friendly neighborhood diarrhea fishes. Ugh. Okay. So I feel safe now. We're back in the shallows. Let's just dump this here. Dude. I think like didn't didn't you and I have a conversation about this? Like this right here. That's my part, my territory. I'm the sheriff in town and all that. Like two episodes ago, we talked. We talked about this. Yeah, you get going. What the fuck? You sneaky bastard! Trying to pop me when I'm having a conversation with the stalker, bro. Oh my god! Jesus. Don't make me, don't make me come after you. Yeah, you can bite, but I got a knife. I'm, I'm not giving up on that fight, dude. Like, if you come back over here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have a problem. 
I'll repair you to smithereens, dude. Just bring it. Bring it. I think I scared him off. No one messes with the repair tool. <laughs> no one. Uh, what were we doing? <laughs> Sorry, I, I easily easily get sidetracked. Oh, we got a distress signal. Let's, let's listen to that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're going to bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I... Dude, just stop talking. Turn off the radio. So Not helping. Like, ugh, I hate that guy. He gives you hope. Like, yeah, we're, we're coming to get you. I'm sorry for, for being a douche on the last uh, just, um, radio call. Uh, I'm going to come get you. And you get that sense of hope. You're like, yes, I'm getting off this shithole. Uh, and then he, he says stuff like that. Yeah. No, there's no way I can park this giant-ass ship on that tiny little... Yeah, just... Dude, fuck you. So I'm sorry, audience, for, for cousin or um, using swear words or whatever word you want me to use for the bad words, but I hate that guy. Let's just say that. I hate that guy. With that said, we now know that they're coming for us. Uh, we don't know how it's going to end up. But we know, we know that they're coming, uh, which is awesome. Uh, so let's, in the meantime, look for a uh, mobile vehicle bay because we need it. It's gonna make uh, traveling in these waters a lot less scary. Uh, so let's let's find it. Please, just let it. Let me find it. Scanner room. Don't I have that? Yeah, I did. So, look, dude. You're, you're letting in all the diarrhea fishes, but I'm not a welcome. What's your problem, man? Like, you like it and you're shitting in your face? Is that is that the deal? I gotta poop on you to can let me be one of you is that the deal cuz I don't mind I'll, I'll shit in your face no problems you won't even have to ask me I might even shit in your face just because I don't like your face yeah you you come you come get this yeah that's what I thought no don't swim to my pot god damn it Every time. Every time. Let's see, here's something. What's this? Quartz, yeah. Why not? <gasps> yes. Oh, not, not yes to the 30 seconds. That's horrible, but laser cutter. We got it. We got it. We can get into those doors. Thank God. Whew. Now the only problem is I'm not 100% sure of the way back to that giant wreckage we explored last time. So hopefully I can find it, but I'm not making any promises. <sighs> Diarrhea fish, why? Just let me let me be. Holy shit, what happened to you? You see that? Just came flying in like a like a baseball. And you're shitting yourself more than usual. Yeah. Yeah, I would too. If something threw me that far and quick, fast. Words. Um, let's see. Uh, diamond. We don't have any diamonds, do we? Crap. We have one. That's not enough. You know, when you think you're on top of the world... 
every time. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, we should make a... Uh, if I have the stuff, I do not have the stuff. I have copper wire though, which is not what I need. I need copper, just copper. And uh, some of these acid shrooms. All right, let's just quickly make a spare battery because we're gonna need it. Let's make another one just because we can. And uh, still don't have that. No point in making another one. We can just swap out the batteries. Okay, so mobile beagle bay. Try try to get my focus on. I always get sidetracked every time. I'm not even looking at you, dude. I'm in tryhard mode now. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Uh, and now you might be wondering why I'm looking at down here. Uh, because I know sometimes it's not not a common occurrence, but sometimes. Yeah, here we go. We can see uh, ship wreckage or uh, parts, uh, like scannable parts on the bottom uh, along the vines and stuff. So that's why I'm, I'm looking down here. Let's see if we can... Uh, is that a seamoth? Uh, that's a seamoth. Oh, no, we don't need that. <gasps> there it is. No, that's that's not it at all. Oh, self-scan? Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Why would you continue to monitor? Like, what, what are you trying to tell me, lady? Something about to become or get messed up with me. I don't like the sound of that. What's in here? A sea glide, we have that. Uh, come on. What's this? Nuclear waste disposal. What if we made this and threw it on the aurora would that work probably not huh yeah, i thought so metal salvage no <gasps> a diamond oh it's just lead <gasps> a diamond oh just silver uh, we need oxygen oh my god every time come on come on come on make it make it make it yeah, we're fine. Why are we so close to the ship? This is is not where I want to be. Not at all. Let's get the freak out of here. Don't want to go to the ship. I want to head this way. What's that? A sea moth. Is that the same or another? That's another part. It's the same, same, same constructible thingy. Um. Let's see. Oh, get away! Get away! What's that? That is a bioreactor. I don't think we have that one. Oh yeah. Come on. What's that? Bioreactor, we just got that. Dude, could you keep it down? <gasps> a forklift. Oh, uh, no. Well, that's a forklift. This is a bar table. Let's get this table and can't please please let me save the forklift when I was um, younger I used to drive one of those uh, at my job oh my god dude boundaries some people just plain out rude uh, but what I was saying was um, at my uh, one of my pre previous employments or what do you want to call it uh, I used to drive a forklift a lot 
at work. It's a lot of fun, especially during uh, the winter. Because uh, the asphalt gets like uh, icy covered here in Sweden, so uh, you can use it to drift around and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And one of my one of my uh, co-workers uh, at that job, he actually um, overloaded the forklift. Um, oh oh no, you don't. No, you don't. And it died. Of course, it did. Uh, he overloaded the forklift, uh, so uh, what happened was it's <laughs> it tipped over, so it was standing on the, what do you call it, the forks, instead of the wheels, uh, and it also kind of tilted the whole, like, angle of the forks because he overloaded it so horribly. Um, it's kind of funny actually. But he was driving down a hill, and uh, not a hill, but uh, like driving downhill um, within the uh, enclosed area where, where we worked, and he overloaded it a bunch. So, like when he was going downhill, the stuff he loaded on the forks uh, slid down, like to the end of the forks. Uh, so. The balance of the whole fork truck just flipped it instantly, and he had to crawl out of there um, just to get like get away from the whole thing, so it wouldn't be crushed. And we're dying this time for sure. So busy talking, I wasn't paying attention to my oxygen, and we're dead. Yup, first death. Oh my god. Well, I think on that story about the fork truck and this death, we're, whoa, hello, there we go, we're uh, gonna end this episode up here, uh, hope you, um, hope you liked it, uh, you got a little bit more uh, information about me, Roras, uh, and also we are getting there, we're, um, Closing in on getting all the parts to the mobile vehicle bay. We have uh, the recipe for the laser cutter. We just need another diamond. Uh, so, yeah, stuff's coming together. And uh, hopefully, in a few days, they'll come pick us up and save us from this watery hellhole. Just put down the seat light, dude. God. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked it, press the like button. If you didn't like it, Press the dislike button, it's fine too. If you really, really liked it, press subscribe. Have a good one. Catch you in the next one. Bye.